Hello, this is all Lego and Pokemon 23 bring you a custom mock the Skull Reaper This mock uses as you can see one of the new Bionicle Skull Spider masks in the sand green something color Using a lot of transparent pieces you can see a lot of them and this is personally one of my creepiest mocks that I think I personally have built. Um, and as you can see, it's a Skull Reaper because of the scythe. As you can see, it uses one of these old Bionicle sword, whatever you want to call it, pieces. And just a basic scythe with a tooth piece attached to slash some of that other piece to the bottom. So, the reason I say this is my most creepiest mock is because of the center rib cage. Kind of see a lot of um, little rib cage, um, as well as a chain that goes across. And this isn't. This is a mocked up body. Um, as you can see from the back, he's got his spine, and you see some Lego bricks. This took me probably about, oh, roughly maybe a half an hour just to figure out how to put all of this stuff together. And, yeah, um, a little inspiration coming from the new summer Bionicle sets. Personally, I wanted to make one with, like the uh, Skull Slicer, um, only without four arms, because we've gotten a few four-armed characters, other character stuff that's got four arms. I just wanted to make them kind of skeletal looking, because of course the Skull Spider Mask, and um, just give them a really creepy appearance. Uh, one of the arms is larger for a good reason, or for a reason, just to kind of give it kind of a weird look to it. He does have a chain going across, and so yeah, so as you can see with the fingers, he doesn't have just the typical three-clawed finger like a lot of people do uh, with their mocks. He has actually four fingers, um, which are using the skull spider legs. And is attached to the bottom like a lot of mock makers do um, how on earth I got four fingers on here um, a lot of people I'll actually take this off uh, it is a little challenging with the four fingers because it's a bit different um, so that's the size um, a lot of people when they're making their mocks I see a lot of modifications to the point where they're actually um, kind of doing what I just did with my latest, um, latest, whatever you want to call it, um, Hero Factory, um, modification. What I see a lot of people do is you have the T pieces, but what they do is they, ins for the top one, I put it on like so, but they cut off the top part here. So what I did was I'm like, Ugh, that thing is always annoying because when you put them together, like so, you've always got that extra little thing sticking up that looks really weird. So what I did was I took the fourth skull spider leg and I just put it right there, giving it four fingers, which I think looks pretty decent. Um, it is a little off because one of them is a further back, but it's kind of like our hands. You can see our hands aren't that even. They're not all perfectly straight, so it kind of makes it more humanoid looking, um, but very disturbing and skeletal looking for this creature. Um, so, yeah. Just a bit, same exact, oh, got it. Um, same exact kind of like design, like typical 
box are like. So yeah, um, articulation. Some parts are a little limited due to the uh, body design. Um, can't really bring it back much here. Um, this is just kind of put it in place a bit. But the legs are very flexible, as you can see. You can make them go all sorts of ways. So yeah. Um, other than that, I think this guy's pretty creepy looking, like I said. Uh, once again with the back, just a two-piece for the spine. Um, and yeah. So, that is, whoa, just de-headed himself. <laughs> so that is the Skull Reaper. Um, I've got plenty more ideas using these Skull Spider masks. So I'll probably be having a few other little things coming up, hopefully very soon. So that is it, and oh, that's it. I just this is all Lego and Pokemon 23 with the Skull Reaper. <laughs>